welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my holiday special series, and today we're going to be talking about what everyone got for Christmas. Hey, how are you doing? I hope everyone had a happy holidays. Uh, I kind of feel a little bit nostalgic around these times of like remembering what it's like to be a kid. And uh, one of the things that that I did a lot when I was a child was right after all of the presents were opened and all of the family stuff was done, all of the kids in my neighborhood, we'd get together and we would play the game, what did you get? You know, what did Santa Claus bring you? What did your parents get you? What did your grandparents get you? And it was back then, you know, you were a kid and stuff. And so it was a little bit of showing off. That's not what I'm doing here now. Uh, this is more of like showing some appreciation for the gifts and the thoughtfulness that um, everyone has put towards gifts to myself and hopefully to be able to share that joy with you and, and some appreciation as well. And to invite all of you out there to create your own video exactly like this one. You know, I, I want I want to know. I want to see what you got for Christmas. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and just start with some simple things. So my mother-in-law gave me some money <clears throat> and I decided to purchase some games from a uh, fellow YouTuber, Cap Captain Natron. Uh, he's currently selling a lot of his collection uh, to go fulfill his dream of uh, homesteading. So she gave me some money and I picked up a copy of Dragon Spirit. Also picked up the e-reader for Ice Climbers. This is not sealed, it's just uh, back in the packaging. And then Donkey Kong Jr., both on the e-reader. And it was really nice to be able to uh, take that money and pick up, pick up a few things that were very meaningful to me and also helped out one of my friends. Now, my stepson, he got me this. Uh, this is the three-in-one, technically a four-in-one because you can unlock Bomberman. Uh, but this is a super CD-ROM for the Turbo Duo. Uh, it is in great shape. It has all three of the normal manuals. I did print off this art and the back art as well from the cover project because I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand it when there's nothing on the, on the side label when I'm trying to look through the games and find what I want. But he got me this for Christmas. Um, I'm ever so thankful that uh, you know that he thought of me enough to to get me something like this and next up uh, my so-called adopted son uh, is a kid who uh, lived with me and my family for about six years because he needed help being able to get um, get back and forth to school he uh, <laughs> He could afford to pay for school or afford to pay for gas to drive from where he lived, or he could live with us and still be able to go to school. And so we let him live with us for a couple of years. Um, and he got me Nano Stray 2 on the DS. Uh, I have the first one, I love the first one, and I was really interested in picking up the second one. And the other one is the Dead or Alive Dimensions. Uh, this is a 3DS title. It is one of the very few fighting games that's on the 3DS. I love the Dead or Alive series. Uh, and I, I figure, you know, Dead or Alive in 3D, what, you know, what, what's there not to like? Nice. Let's see. My granddaughter got me this. This is Hunt Down on the PlayStation 4. Um, it's very old school, uh, very cyberpunk style, uh, and r reminds me a lot of Contra and stuff like that. But it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, 
I'm not so sure I'm going to let her play it with me, but uh, who knows? There's all kinds of things in the future. And then some crazy person sent me uh, money via Cash App. And they specifically said that I had to purchase a video game with it. So that's what I did. Uh, I picked up Evil West on the PlayStation 5. There's an old pen and paper role playing game called Deadlands, where there's undead cowboys and monsters and magic and all of this other stuff. And that's very, uh, this game reminds me of that quite a bit from the trailers that I've viewed. And the idea that you're, you know, this supernatural vampire that's hunting down like other monsters and stuff, it also reminds me of, was it Dead Watch on the PlayStation 2? And so, like, this this game definitely piqued my interest, and I did not want to miss out on it. So, um, Brandon, thank you so much uh, for that. And also, one of the other things that I've got, you can see me wearing it. This is my Ratchet & Clank t-shirt. The yellow part actually glows in the dark. This is something my wife made for me on Christmas. When I say made for me, I mean... Once we were done unwrapping all of the presents, she got up, went to her craft room, grabbed my orange t-shirt that I had, grabbed this glow-in-the-dark material, used her vinyl cut machine, and made this thing for me. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I floor, I'm just completely floored by it. I am a big Ratchet & Clank fan. And the other thing that I got that is... A little bit off the wall. I bet you guys can already see. That's right. I've got Megatron's head. I feel no man, but that thing, it scares me. This thing's great. Uh, you can actually wear it, although my glasses are a little bit big for me to be able to wear this thing. But uh, his eyes light up and he talks, although the speaker is a little bit quiet. I'm going to take the lapel pen or uh, lapel mic off and see if I can get it up there. All right, let's see. Attack. So it has the voice. It does absolutely everything um, and you can wear it. I absolutely love this thing. Now, this, this beauty right here is from my good friend Sinchatis, and uh, I can't thank him enough for uh, reaching back into my childhood and uh, bringing a dream like this to, you know, to, to be, become true. And the final thing that I got is something that I'm not going to actually be able to bring into camera. And that's because it's, it's hooked up right now. Uh, it is my, the other half of my PlayStation 5. Uh, me and my wife don't make a ton of money. And sometimes it's very difficult for us to find gifts for each other. And that's why she got me half of my PlayStation 5 for our anniversary, our wedding anniversary, and the other half of it for my Christmas. And so now I officially own 100% of my PlayStation 5. And again, I am absolutely floored by the generosity of everyone and very thankful for all of my gifts. And now it's time for me to call out some people and I'm gonna be using a card because I'm old and I can't remember anything. Remember Blockbuster Video. <gasps> That's right. I own cassette singles. I used AOL to surf the web. I am old. But these are the people I'm going to call out to do maybe a video just like this one. 8 bit glitch 79, Bandana Gamer, Candy's Classic, <laughs> Candy's Classic Gamer, Captain Algebra. Casual Gamer 84, although I think you've already done one. Chill Scissors, Coopal of Nerds, Console Collector, Daxel, Denver Gamer, Do You Nerd, Drinking and Games with Josh, 
Gaming Off the Grid, Girl of Dino Plays, Lightsaber Samurai, Mad and Looney Jr. <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to say that one again. Mad and Looney Jr., Pac-Man Case, of course, Scott, Jen, you know, you're not escaping, Retro Rivals, uh, Rocker Gaming, Samantha Azeria, almost messed that one up, Square Pegs, Unnecessary Rambling, and Waves and Games. Guys, I want to see what you guys got for Christmas. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Oh boy. I want to see, you know, all the games. It doesn't have to be video game related. It, it can just be basically anything. But thank you again for watching this video. That's all I've got for you today. And, you know, just have a great day. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.